I have a college degree. I have a law degree. I'm now a magistrate. I do adoptions and guardianships for children. I've always worked with children. So I hope I'm qualified to be a sub. When Betsy Sunderman heard about the need for subs in November, the former city council member went on CPS's website, clicked on this flyer, and applied. I didn't get a response, so I contacted the Ohio Department of Education, and they said, your application's been approved, except we're just waiting for a signature from the Cincinnati Public Schools superintendent. Two months later, she received a letter from the state saying her application was auto-declined because it wasn't approved within 60 days. When she questioned CPS, she says she was told she had to apply through CPS first and then ODE, not the other way around. I said, if that's not the process, you need to update the website if you're so desperate for subs. Since posting frustrations on social media, Sunderman says she's heard from six other parents. And a lot of other parents said, I also applied and I got denied for the same reason. One of them is a certified teacher. WLWT is trying to get answers from both CPS and ODE. So far, no response. School board member Kareem Moncrie Moffitt did address this on social media, saying she was working to understand why many people are complaining that they've applied to be a sub and haven't been contacted. She said she learned the process is confusing and some applications were sitting there in limbo because some people have applied through the state, not with CPS or vice versa. She wrote, there were a few others who had done things correctly, but the applications were not followed up and they simply expired. And you know, I checked today, CPS's website has several links, several flyers with links to apply to be a substitute teacher. However, that uh, some of them are broken. I can tell you though, Moncrie Moffitt did post links on how to apply on her social media pages, uh, also with instructions on how to apply, and we have that now on our website, WLWT.com. Reporting live tonight in Quarryville, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. So Karen, I'm wondering any idea what CPS is doing now with the applicants who had licenses to Line, but who still want to sub? You know, Shuri, I'm still working on trying to get that answer. I'm also still working on trying to find out exactly how many applications are sitting in limbo. But I can tell you, you know, take uh, Sunderman, for example, she says in November and December, she had a lot of time on her hands. She wanted to help out CPS. Now her time is limited. However, she still wants to be approved. She wants to be in the system in case uh, she has more availability. And also keep in mind, these applicants had to pay out of pocket about $150 for their background checks. All right, well, we certainly appreciate them wanting to help. Karen Johnson reporting live tonight. Thanks so much.